Before we begin, if you do like these videos, then consider donating as little as 10 pence via the link in the description. When we look at things like demography, we know that each culture has the aptitude to act recklessly and that each culture has a notorious gang. However, in recent years, the rise of the Albanian gang has taken over pockets of the trafficking industry and they've dominated areas like Cardiff and London as well as Birmingham and Glasgow. Now, to go up against any gang comes with its own risks and that can prove detrimental and if you're brave enough to go into a trap house and attempt to steal a growth worth hundreds of thousands of pounds from people that essentially came into the country via boat, then fair play to you, but you are risking your life. 23 year old Thomas Wagger was made an example of by the Albanian gang in the worst, worst possible way. On January 28th of 2021, just after 11pm, a member of the public frantically called 999 and explained there was a man laying in the street not moving and he looked like he was suffering in critical condition. It's later to emerge that Thomas Wagger and three friends had travelled from Dagenham in East London in two separate cars and made their way to the Pennyland area of Cardiff on the evening of January 28th, 2021 at a rough time of 8.30pm. After receiving a tip-off that there was a grow worth £120,000 and it was up for grabs. Now Thomas actually managed to break into the Newport Road property in the northeast area of Cardiff by climbing in through a window and then he opened the kitchen back door to let his mates in. The group then began to use black bags in order to start cutting up the crops and pull it in. Now sadly the Albanian gang had rented out their dress under the guise of renting it out for a doctor that worked in the Gwent hospital and they had been alerted and they showed up armed with weapons such as bats, bricks, bamboo sticks. Thomas and his mates Carl Davis were captured in 4k and they were confronted and they were taught a valuable lesson with the bats and the bamboo sticks. Now by some miraculous miracle, Carl Davis actually managed to run away and he hid behind a wall at a nearby church. Sadly, Thomas wasn't so lucky. He was a taught a lesson as I said and he was left in critical condition. He was then thrown into a Mercedes owned by gang member Gladys Mahala and then driven to a different location. And as to how the Albanian gang knew that Thomas had arrived at the house was because they had a lookout called Heisland Elige and they was on 24 hour shifts and they noticed Thomas and his mates acting suspiciously. He then called GMs Nushi and Dana who contacted the other gang members. So the five men Albanian gang questioned Thomas as to how he knew there was a grow and also to give up the names of the other people who he was with. He was then robbed of his jewellery, his phone and his cash and after the gang was done with him he was then thrown out of the car and then left at the side of the road. Again a member of the public found Thomas lying on the cold hard ground at around 11pm. Emergency services and the police were called to the scene but at this point Thomas was beyond saving. Again he was only 23 years old and he risked his life for a bit of money. Police reported that Thomas suffered more than 25 injuries that included bruising to the chest, mouth, three ribs broken and also swelling to the brain. While the police started to build their investigation, Nushi and Dana and Elijah also fled the country but then they returned to Cardiff on January 31st 2021 when they attended Cardiff Bay Police Station. As for the owner of the Mercedes, Mihala, he was subsequently extradited from Albania and also charged with Thomas's Waggers M that Joseph Nushi and Milal Dana had received a life sentence for the M also and this was after they was found guilty in a court of law and Heisen Elijah was sentenced to 10 years in connection with this incident. Condolences to Thomas Waggers family and friends. Sadly this is the very real reality of what happens when we make these fatal choices. Stay safe, safe.